Understanding Implied Powers in Government and Law Hello everyone, today, we're going to explore a fascinating concept in the world of law and government. Implied Powers This term might sound a bit complex, but don't worry. We'll break it down together, making it easy to understand. So, let's dive in. Implied powers are powers not explicitly stated in a constitution or law but are considered necessary to fulfill governmental duties. These powers are derived from the elastic clause of the U.S. Constitution, which grants Congress the ability to pass all laws necessary and proper for carrying out its listed powers. The elastic clause, found in Article 1, Section 8 of the U.S. Constitution is the cornerstone for the concept of implied powers. It allows the government to adapt to changing times and needs by granting flexibility in lawmaking. This clause is essential in understanding how implied powers work. To better grasp this concept, let's look at some examples. 1. Creation of the Bank of the United States not explicitly mentioned in the Constitution, but deemed necessary to handle the nation's finances. 2. Regulating air travel. The Constitution doesn't mention air travel, but the government regulates it for safety and commerce purposes. The use of implied powers often leads to debates over the balance of power between the different branches of government and the states. Critics argue that it can lead to an overreach of federal power, while supporters believe it's essential for an effective government. Understanding implied powers is crucial for appreciating how governments can function effectively within the framework of a constitution. It's fascinating to see how such a concept allows for adaptability and growth in governance. Thanks for joining me in this exploration, and I hope you found it enlightening.